Previously on, on Playmobil Life. Gabby gets a secret admirer. I have a secret admirer. Susan and Mike find similar ground. Charles wants to become a pizza man and soon tells Carl that he must quit his job. I'm quitting my job. And Brie finds out that Helen isn't really dead. Lately, Susan had felt as if she was walking in a fairy tale. And she was Cinderella. Waiting for her knight in shining armor to rescue her. And once she got saved, she would thank him. And again. And thank him again. But yet there was something missing from this fairy tale. I, I can't find Jane. She must have went in for more operations. She'll be back soon, probably. I'm right here. Honey, I woke up from my coma. Oh, Jane! And that one thing that was missing was a dragon to slay. If you were to walk into a police station, you might conclude that the world is full of dangerous men. Well, at least for Bree. Officer, I am telling you, there's something wrong here. The dead body is not Helen, it's Amanda. And who would this so-called Amanda be, ma'am? I am telling you, this is all wrong. My neighbors, Mark and Daniel, they know more than we think. They might have done something with Amanda. Uh, Ma'am. And his ex-wife Helen and his mother Dolores might have put them up to it. Uh, Ma'am, maybe you should go home and just relax and take a rest. If it is this Amanda person you say, we're going to have to start a whole new case, and there are risks to that. Fine. So be it. Uh, hey, honey. Hey, Charles, how's work at the restaurant? It was great. I see you got some wine to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, let's dig in. Hold it. The city came over with this paper today, saying that your electricity is all jacked up, the lighting doesn't work, and your foundation in the restaurant is cracked. What? I knew the foundation was needing to be fixed, but I didn't know about the electricity and the lighting. Oh, so someone's just randomly coming in and breaking stuff on purpose? Well, I don't know. Well, fix it. Oh, please, Ryan. My mom would want you to do this for me since you are her ex-boyfriend. I need you to break more things in that restaurant. I want to destroy Sally. I stole money from her purse. I'll pay you. Oh, no, she didn't. <sighs> would anyone like to run to the store with me? I have to go run to Macy's. Pregnant. Job hunting. And I'm free, Bree. I'll go with you. Oh, Dolores, you don't have to. Oh, I insist. <sighs> Great. <sighs> These blankets. Dolores, I need your opinion. Me and Lance are looking to remodel the bedroom, and we don't know what colors we want to do. Uh, I really just don't care what color blankets and pillows you do for your bedroom. Well, I kind of was asking for a second opinion. Well, good for you. I wanted to be alone with you, Bree, so we could chit-chat about Lance. What about Lance? He has a dark side, Bree. I know it. He just hasn't shown it to you. Please do not tell me that you're another person that thinks Lance murdered Amanda. Oh, so he told you about his affair with Amanda. Hmm, interesting. Huh, well, he may have killed her. Why would Lance want to kill the girl that he had an affair with? Maybe she rejected him. <sighs> That's not true, Dolores. Hmm. We'll see about that. Now, let's get back to blanket shopping. <laughs> what fun. Uh, would you think this match nice with my new purse? Gabby, I'm not your personal shopper. I'm your friend. Uh, oh, I know, but I always need an assistant. Uh, Gabby, is this all you do is shop now? Well, my toucan ex-husband's gone, and the girls are at school. I have nothing to do. 
Well, I am teaching a bunch of pageant girls for this pageant that's coming up. I could use some help. You could give them some tips on modeling and clothes. I don't want to teach a bunch of girls about some stupid pageant. I'm sorry. It'd be a lot better than racing to the rack to get your dress that you want when it's already taken. What? Ain't no one can stop me. No one can get this dress I'm gonna buy right now. Fine. I will give some tips to pageant girls on fashion. <sighs> Ian. Uh, you, Susan, I got you some coffee. Uh, thank you. What the heck are we gonna do now that Jane's woken up? Who are we gonna tell her that we're dating? Uh, I really don't know. All I know is that you and me are going to get through this. Uh, Jane! Uh, honey! Oh, oh, Jane, oh, honey, I miss you so much. Oh. Uh. Oh, Susan, is everything all right? Uh, everything's fine. It would be better if you cut your hands off her. Honey, how about we go down to the cafeteria? I'm starving. Oh, uh, sure, Jane. Let's go. Uh, uh, Dr. Susan? It's me, Jane's father. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for what? Thank you for stealing Ian away from Jane. I, 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 I... And now you're going to break up with Ian, or else I'll fire you from that private school. I don't know if you met me or not, but I am the vice principal there. Uh, he's blackmailing you? Uh, I know it sounds bad, I just... He just walked in and said that he was gonna... Fire me if I don't break up with Ian. Uh, Susan, you have to go to the police about this. You can't just let this guy blackmail you. Yes, Susan, and are you even sure you're in love with Ian? You have the whole complicated thing between Mike and Ian now. I know, I know, and I'm trying to fix it as best as I can. You know, maybe we should hire someone to beat up the old man. Sally, violence is never the answer. Uh, to my kids it is. Uh, thank you three for coming out today. Now, Cooper, Mark, Daniel, I wanted to ask you guys if you wanted to be employees at the restaurant. Uh, Mark and Daniel, I know that you guys were looking for jobs, and Cooper, I know that you need something to afford your apartment. I don't mind doing it. Yeah, we don't mind either. We need the money. Oh, great. Welcome to the family, boys. Now, let's get inside. we got some work to do. The grand opening is in like two weeks, so we have to get started. Oh my god, why are the police here? Oh, excuse me, officers. I have to go talk to my wife quickly. Uh, someone came in last night and vandalized the restaurant. No, you're kidding. We just lost all that money fixing the lighting and the electricity and the foundation. Uh, Sally, I have no idea who would do that. The police are starting to look for the person that did this. <sighs> More money. Great. Charles, we have a grand opening in two weeks. We cannot afford to break anything else or spend more money on something. You hired someone to do this now, didn't you, Emily? But I won't be the one getting in trouble. <laughs> uh, here, we can look back on the security cameras. Uh, looks like some man. Uh, that looks like Samantha's ex-boyfriend. Huh. I think we got a lead. Uh, hey, Mom's purse. Don't worry, guys. We'll have this all figured out tomorrow. Uh, Mackenzie? Uh, you're the one that stole my purse? Oh, Mackenzie, you are so grounded. Come on, we're going home. <sighs> so easy. Uh, thank you two for inviting me out to dinner. I haven't seen the day of light forever ever since you trapped me in your house. Well, you're the one that wanted to stay for two weeks, and now we're letting you. Uh, yes, and sadly those two weeks don't go by fast enough. Oh, you both are so funny. Now, I'm gonna go use the ladies' room. I'll be right back. Uh, is she gone, Brie? Uh, yeah, she just turned the corner. Okay, good. Uh, Lance, what are you putting in her food? Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? You're putting sleeping pills in your mother's food? Uh, Lance, I forbid this. Oh, come on, Brie. Once she's falling asleep, we can load her up and put her out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, no! Uh, now I have to be the grown-up here and pick all these pills out of her food before she gets back. How many pills did you put in there? 
Oh, come on, Bree. Let her fall asleep. We can ditch her. Besides, she's dangerous. No, she's not. She's misunderstood. May I ask, Bree, why you're picking at my food when you have your own? Uh, I guess I just have a big appetite tonight. Uh, remember, Gabby, just don't say anything that will upset anyone. Oh, there are the kids. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's Miss Omano! Oh my gosh, she's like a fashion model! She's gonna teach us! No, oh, I better be getting paid a lot. Now, kids, Miss Omato is here to give you some tips on the pageant. Make sure you're respectful and safe, and show her good manners. Ah, oh, thank you. Now, I think we should start on the walk. Watch me. Now, eyes front, legs straight, no chicken legs. Make sure your hips are wavy. Once you get to the end, look left, then right, and walk back with your hips. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my gosh. I got this. Ah, oh, hips. Oh, ah. Oh. Too much movement. Now I got this. Oh, left. Oh. Ooh. I'm walking like straight, no chicken legs. I'm looking left. Uh, no, sweetie, that's your right. Oh my gosh, I'm actually doing it. Uh, I did it. Uh, yay, at least one of you guys got it down. Oh, girls, so make sure you don't eat too much pizza. Look, we're all on a diet now. You have to be a size two to be a model, I mean a uh, pageant girl. Ugh, fine, then I won't eat any more pizza. Well, I mean, you can. I'll, I'll just give you the list of drugs that I use to stay skinny. I mean, exercise. <sighs> I am freaking out. I'm supposed to go to a job where I'm student teaching and the vice principal is trying to blackmail me. Ugh, Mom, don't freak out. You'll do fine. Just ignore the vice principal. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Okay. Bye, Chloe. Love you. Have a good time in high school. Bye. Oh, gosh, she is so screwed. Okay, class, Mrs. Smith was nice enough to, guess what, make us cookies. Huh? Like, yeah, was that, was that really in? Oh my gosh, yeah, totally. Hey, these cookies were made out of something special, and I like to call it love for you lovely students. <sighs> okay, class, so Mrs. Smith is going to pass out the cookies. Make sure you have your plates. Don't break them. Oh, I can't wait to try these cookies. Oh my gosh. Uh, Claudia, we can finally get fat on cookies again. Uh, I do have to say, Susan, uh, I tested out your cookies this morning and they were delicious, even though they had a little bit of a funny taste to them. Kind of like uh, something rat? Rat? I don't know. Kind of tastes something like rat to me. Uh, rats? They taste like rats? I ate them this morning before I ran into vice principal. Children! Uh, move. Uh, uh. No, yep, you can't eat these cookies. I'm just gonna grab them. They're full of rat poison. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab these. <laughs> Billy, you can lay off the sweets anyways. The girls, wait, don't eat those. They're full of poison. Uh, don't eat these. Uh, Mrs. Smith, you're trashing my classroom with your rat poison cookies. Uh, I swear to God, they were fine. The vice principal tampered with them. Now, why would I do that? My, my, my. Looks like I'm going to be making a few phone calls to home. Just don't call Gabby. I really don't want her to bang up my car because I did something bad to her children. Oh, yes, very well. Well, it seems like your special ingredient, love, turned out to be rat poison. Uh, no more special love to cookies in my class ever again. Oh, oh my god. Uh, kids, where's your father? I've been waiting on him so we can have dinner. Ugh. He said that he went down to the pizzeria. Ugh, the pizzeria? Ugh, I'll call him. Ugh, come on, Charles, pick up, pick up. Come on. Ugh. Dang it. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, perfect. Let's get my money. Well, hi. It's nice for you to show up. Hey, look, man, I don't want any trouble. But I do. You vandalized my restaurant. I don't know if you know this, but I used to be a cop. Oh, well, good for you. Ugh. Oh, no, get off me! No! Ugh. Ugh. No, stop! No! Ugh. 
Uh, uh, not so fast, Charles. Ugh. Oh, my, my back. I think you. I think you broke my back. Did Charles, honey, are you okay? Uh, my back, Sally. I, I think. It, I think it's broke. I think you're gonna have to continue renovating the restaurant until the grand opening. I can't do it anymore. This is all Emily's fault. She hired Samantha's ex-boyfriend to vandalize the restaurant, to put you in debt, Mom, and she stole your purse for the money. What? Ugh, that shopping trip was fabulous, Gabby. Oh, yes, I need something to do since my husband left me. Ugh, I am so close to seducing my butler. Uh, been there, done that. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Gabby. Gabby. Oh, hey, Lamar. <sighs> Gabby, I can no longer have you teaching those girls at the pageant. Uh, why? Parents have said that they found drugs under their kids' beds. I may have made a list of drugs they could use to get skinny. Oh, great, because that makes things so much more better. <sighs> Gabby, the parents don't want you back there, and either do I. Uh, but I have nothing else better to do. <sighs> Uh, yes, yes, right now we need to see. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, guys? Uh, what is she doing here? Uh, don't worry, I could ask her the same question. Gabby, what are you doing here? Uh, I want to fix things, please. In the beginning, I thought this thing was so stupid. But it keeps me busy. I want to start fresh. Please, parents, give me another chance. <sighs> I don't see why not. Uh, my two girls really did like you, Miss Omato. Thank you, everybody. Yay, Miss Omato's back! Yay, yay! Uh, for now on, you guys can call me Gabby. So, Susan, you're just letting this guy blackmail you? <sighs> yes, and I could possibly lose my job today after what went down yesterday. Have you gone to the police yet? I don't have any solid evidence saying that he's trying to blackmail me. And, Mike, I came to you because you've gambled with drug dealers before. I mean, you know how this works. Ugh, Susan, that was a long time ago. Now I've changed. I don't get involved in all that drug stuff. I just need someone to help me. You know what? I'm going to try my best. Uh, Jane, I'm with someone else now. <sighs> it's been a long day, and a rough day with your mother. I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, let's just be glad we only have a week left with her. Uh, then we can kick her out. Uh, now we have a night to ourselves, or we can just sleep peacefully and read. Uh, Bree, the window in my bedroom is still open, and I'm having trouble shutting it. Can you help me? <sighs> sh sure, Dolores. For gosh sakes, Mother, do it yourself. Uh, you shouldn't be talking to me like that. Do we want to bring up Amanda again? Absolutely not. Here's a picture of him dragging Amanda's dead body out to his backyard. Oh my god. Bree, those aren't real. I never, ever killed Amanda. I never, ever did. Ugh, it's sad. The girl he was having an affair with rejected him. She didn't reject me, you nasty whore. Lance, you're choking me. Lance, stop. You can't fix what's been done, Lance. And now everything's broken. Bree, I'm sorry you didn't see that. I want you out of my house, Lance, right now. I want you to leave. Bree, no. Yes, Lance. Please leave. You can get your things in the morning. Oh, darling, I know how hard it's gonna be, but it's just me and you now. Which is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Dangerous men walk among us. And we can't always be sure of who they are and what secrets they hide. But once our worst suspicions are confirmed, we can take action. 
Once their agendas are revealed, we can take steps to protect ourselves and the people we love. Yes, dangerous men can cause great harm. Ugh, I cannot believe Mark, you stole Amanda's dead body at the police station. How'd you get away with this? It doesn't matter. We're gonna use it to frame Lance. But sometimes, they can be a harm to themselves.